Welcome back to another video where the only thing worse than my photos are my self-esteem. I don't think that was proper grammar. Anyway, today I'm trying out Portra 160 for the first time and also in medium format. We're going to be using my Yashica Twin Lens Reflex Camera. The dog is going crazy right behind me, but it's fine. She'll get over it. So let's go make some photos. So it took me all of a month to actually take my film to the uh, camera store and get it developed, but I'm here, I have the results. Not great. I'm gonna be honest, I only got three decent photos from this roll of film, and I accidentally opened the back of the camera, once again exposing the, the end of the roll of film, so I only ended up with seven photos, even though I was supposed to get 12. Also, my camera seems to have an advancing issue, so a couple of these photos ended up slightly cropped with a black bar at the bottom. It happens. Whatever. I might be able to go back and rescan the negatives. I haven't really checked, but I think that they turned out okay. The picture of the house is my favorite. Um, I was I just decided I was going to drive one day with my camera and the roll of film, and I ended up I don't I could not get you back there if I wanted to. I ended up down a like gravel road in the middle of nowhere um, outside of the town I live and I just turned down this road there were a few houses drove a little further it curved over a bridge around and there was this house and it was just so distant with the field and the blue sky and I thought you know what this will make a good photo so I made the photo and it was a good photo it was the best one from the roll it turned out pretty all right if you ask me um, the second decent photo that I got from this roll was of the houses, the row of houses. Unfortunately, I slightly overexposed this photo, and I think, I'm, I, think I just overdid it a little bit on the overexposure. Um, with my Yashica camera, I only can fire at one shutter speed because the rest are inoperable. And so I fire, it's somewhere between 100 and 1 250th of a second, and I'm not sure where it is. So I kind of usually think that it's about 1 200th of a second and I meter for that and that ends up giving me overexposed images a lot of the time. I like that look. I can't say that it turned out the greatest with the row of houses but I don't hate it. And the last photo, I did not go over these in order with the b-roll, um, the last photo was the gravel road. I saw it as I was driving. I think I was driving I want to say I was driving north. I was driving north on this gravel road and I saw this image that I wanted to make and I was like, you know what, I gotta come back for that. So I drove, I turned down that road, found the house, took a picture of that, came back, stopped on the side of the road, made the photo that I had seen on the way up. Didn't quite turn out how I thought it would, but I think that it turned out it was better than it could have been. Could have been worse, is what I'm saying. So, it's not great, 
it's not bad. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, I also made some photos of Aspen the dog, and it's really hard to make photos of her because she moves so much, so it's hard to get focus right. And I think they turned out, they turned out okay. They turned out okay. And I honestly don't remember what the end of the roll was. I opened the back of the camera, so I'll, I'll never know. Anyways, that's all for this mediocre photography video. It's taken me like forever to make this, but I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I actually got some new photo light, no, video lights. I got some new video lights. This one, that one. So hopefully I look decent in this video. Um, not really sure. <laughs> I think it looks all right, but I'm just using the little LCD monitor on my camera, so I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, if you want to get the lights, check the link in the description. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.